Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some of the benefits to working with Plant 3D. So in out of the box we get some templates where we can place types of equipment such as centrifugal pumps, tanks, that kind of thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how we can create a piece of equipment. So I click on uh, create equipment and we're going to go for a centrifugal pump and so we've got all these different types of pump templates you can see if I click on a sump pump there's a sump pump and we can change the size of the sump pump so if you change 635 there that's the dimension ml so that dimension there will get larger on the actual piece of equipment so let's come to our pump and let's go for our centrifugal pump you can see there's all these different dimensions that we can adjust if you want to I'm just going to pick the default one for now I'm going to pick a pump number give it a description if I want main pump whatever I like and then click create so there's my pump so I'm going to track um, let's just switch this to endpoint only there we go and track that point there something like let's go for 20 meters obviously this drawing is working in millimeters All right so there we go it's 20 meters I'm gonna have it on the same line so by rotating it round okay so there's our pump I can simply copy the selection copy with base point whatever I want to copy with base point paste I want this one a meter and a half away. There we go. What we'll see is just giving it pump 001 with a question mark because you can't have two with the same tag. So I'm just going to assign the tag here and then pick the next number along. Okay, so it's verifying your model as you go along. So there we go. That's my pump sorted. I'm just having a quick look at these tanks. That'll do. So what I want to do now is pipe from that nozzle to that nozzle. And we can see that's a 6 inch nozzle there. And we can see that's a 10 inch nozzle there. Okay. So if we select root pipe, we click on that nozzle there. You should see. And make sure let's go, let's switch this a little bit. So let's just have node this on. So we'll go from that nozzle there to that nozzle there. And you can see that it gives us a suggested route. I can click next, next. So there's many different suggested routes. I can just keep clicking next until I'm happy with the route that it gives me. That looks like a logical route to me, so I'll accept that. What we'll see is somewhere, there it is, there's a reducer. And also we have a gasket on the flange there. We also have a gasket on the flange there, that's what that red dot is showing us. So if I click on it, you can see that's the gasket. You can see that it's applied a flange connection to either end. Okay. So I'm going to add to my selection all connected line number and then have a look at my properties over here. Alright, so you can see we've got line number spec. If I click on one of these items here we can see that I've got my tag all populated for me. Okay. So what I need to do now is let's add a ball valve, why not? If I come down here, grab a ball valve, pop it on here, oops, well that'll do. <laughs> if I grab that ball valve, I can move it down somewhere like that and let's just change the snaps here, it might help me a little bit. Here, and you can see I've got a dynamic input so I can move it down let's say five meters there we 
Okay. You can see we've got a handle. I can rotate it around if I choose. Lovely. Or I can even change the type of valve. Check valve. I don't know if that was a mistake. Put it back to a ball valve. Different type of ball valve. Okay. So all the while it's broken the, the line if I grab it. I'll put it over here maybe. Or over here. Yep. Yeah. Rotate the handle around. So it's really easy to work with. If you want another piece of pipe, I would just do shift right click this time, save me changing my snaps every time. You can see I can accept that first solution there. Yep, and place another type of valve, maybe a gate valve on here. Yep, getting a bit less accurate now to speed things up. Maybe I want a T or a reducer. I can just drop on a T and a piece of pipe. Then a reducer, a concentric one, and start piping. Right click, change the size. Let's go for, no, let's go for six inch. There you go, puts the reducer on the other way. So it's gone down and up. Yeah. So it's pretty good to work with. Maybe I want to place pipe support. Plenty of different templates in here to pick from. Um, let's go with a beam one, shall we? Put one there, put one there, put one there. Again, you'd be more accurate in real life. This one needs to be this long. This one. Well, if we put our endpoint snaps back on, we might be able to track them. No, it's not in line, so we're able to do that. So, better if I typed a specific distance, wouldn't it? No, three meters, for example. So, we can adjust all these afterwards, after the fact. So, you can see you've got the overall length there. So, we'll go for three meters. And the same here, three meters. So it's nice and easy to work with. Okay, please feel free to contact Man Machine if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.